I don't know if this gets your rocks off like it does for me, but this is a pretty cool hanging kit for your system stove. I used to have, or if you've seen our Big Wall series, uh, this big old fab piece of webbing that you just clamp and hope. <laughs> it's a big full of socks. <laughs> that is your toilet paper if you don't bring enough. <laughs> and I was like, hmm, I don't like it because if this nylon dangles near my flame, I thought, well, what if we use the core of power cord, which is Technora, cut and heat resistant. So even if you have a length that does kind of put it near a flame, it might be super good enough. If you stick it directly in the flame, even Technora could melt, but it at least is better than nylon. I also didn't like the fact that this nut that tightens up this four inch hose clamp, if it's in the bag with my puffy, we'll tear it. So I got this three quarter inch rubber band and put it on there. What I'm trying to do is not just carry the climbing stuff that you need for a big wall, but also provide all the little stuff that's a pain in the ass to get. When we made the big wall series, Jeremiah and I spent probably two hours hunting down a hose clamp, trying to find some webbing at Brent's house and assembling this at the last minute, like everyone does for a project before they go up a rock. So what if we just make something? Introducing to you the clamp system the compact lightweight adjustable mounting point. It's more than just three things in a Ziploc bag. Let me explain. <laughs> so I pretty much uh, try to buy each component in bulk or get them in bulk with the power cord. And then I try to make it as convenient as possible. If you're buying other big wall stuff, we'd be able to throw this in the bag for $2.99 or something. You get 20% off this if you're a supporter. Now I give you the components that would be a pain in the ass to go and source out yourself individually. There are probably several ways you can do this. These are the ways I do it. And I'll give you the reasons why I do it. And you could do it the way you wanna do it. Please don't sue me for trying to make this easier for you. Unboxing the clamp. The beautiful packaging is easy to open. Now included in this is four feet of a single strand of Technora. This is cut resistant and heat resistant, even though you could cut it and melt it if you tried hard enough. It would be nice if you used a figure eight because I've never had a figure eight slip in any material before, including Dyneema. If you just try to do an overhand or something else, it might not be super good enough. The other thing you don't technically want is a loop this big, and I'll show you why in a minute. So you can see the different size loops here, but you don't necessarily need it this long, but it can be whatever length you would like, which is why we provide more than less. So this hose clamp can just open up completely and you just slip on both ends. I feel like the expensive kits are just as much of a pain in the ass. So then just take your cooker and slip it over the back here. And you probably want this bulge here in the front, though you could put it in the back, but that's where your hand will be using this the most, or you'll be clipping this off to things when you're just clipping it away for the night. But anyways, we're gonna be covering this up with a rubber band, so it's not the end of the world either way. Get that on there just enough so you can still slide this back and forth. Technora is cut resistant, but you can still cut it. Find what would be dead center, hang it up, make sure that your loops aren't like that. Before you tighten it up, you wanna make sure that they're facing up. Make your final adjustments and then tighten it down pretty tight because this is gonna have boiling water in it and you don't want it to come off. Now, the reason I feel like there should be a loop here is so it can't come off of this. You don't wanna just stick this string down the side and then clamp it on there. I don't feel like that's bomber. Now, I don't like how sharp this is or this if you were to put it in a bag with your puffy. Now, the trick with our sharp edge protection technology is to go and put your string through there first and then slip it over there. That keeps that sharp edge there from being a problem. What I don't like about a four string or wire system is there's a lot more stuff in your way. Once you find center and you can put water in this before you go up a wall and make sure that it's, you know, going to be level and it's not going to be tipped like this. Now you can see how much nicer that loop is being small when I try to put this lid on versus having the loop bigger and this tail then facing down. It's kind of obnoxious when I want to put the lid on, I don't want that in the way. I made this one earlier and it's got the, the tails of the figure eight facing up, but I don't like that because when I try to put the lid on there, it keeps the lid from sealing properly. Now you want to always properly test your jet boil before you put boiling hot water in it. So now let's test it with my bolt buster adapter here since I don't want to mess up my jet boil. Let's find out if the string breaks first or if this hose clamp does. <laughs> That is slightly more than two cups of water. 
Now, I think this is longer than you need it, but however long you make it, what's nice about this is you can wrap this thing around and you can just tuck it underneath this rubber band, making it out of the way when you're not using the hanging kit. Nice when you're at the top of El Cap and you don't need it to be uh, in your way. Now, what are the risks? The traditional hanging kit that you can buy for 20 times more money is uh, hanging it from the base. And so it grabs it from the bottom here, this part, and it's holding it up from here. Now, if we're holding it up from here, the only thing that keeps this from falling off are those dimples and they have been known to fall off before. So make sure that's solid. Keep an eye on it. Don't move around a lot on your portal edge before you try to hang this and have the thing that's on fire fall off. I forgot my jet boil with my crappy hanging kit using this crappy piece of webbing. I was on a G7. Now, don't get me wrong, I love my G7 pods, which we do carry in the store, by the way. It's squishy. It's like making food on a waterbed. And so I was holding my stove really carefully. It was not even a jet boil. It was a, yeah, it was a pocket rocket. <laughs> and so I'm using this pocket rocket thing with the stove on top and I'm on this G7 and it's 30 degrees and I'm trying not to shake. I was like, whoa, this hanging thing is really essential. And so that's why I'm on this hanging cooking system kick and I hate my other setup. And since I was making one for me, why not make 20 more and stick it on the store? If you guys wanna leave me feedback on how to make it better, you can let me know. You can probably use this on other all-in-one cooker systems, assuming the hose clamp works. I'm trying to make this a little bit more convenient for you guys, but the assembly required is so the risk is on you more than it is on me. <laughs> Maybe don't include that. Yeah, I was thinking the hair, us hair scrunchie would cover, just anything to cover this, I think is smart. I've never had mine covered before, but I definitely like having that, especially if I'm gonna make a really nice product in a Ziploc bag for you guys. I'm trying to stock up all the bolting hardware you would need to install or replace bolts on routes, but not just that, but also all the miscellaneous and annoying stuff that you would need, including, I'm practicing cord drilling after I make this video and I would make sure that the tube comes with it because it doesn't when you buy this and that this lid was obnoxious to make and so I might not send the bottle with it but if I do something like this, I would try to include everything. That's the kind of stuff we're working on in the shop. Uh, thanks for watching. Click this if you thought any of this was helpful or this twice for redundancy. Cheers.